The art of fine watchmaking continues to thrive in Switzerland. The precise engineering and beautiful displays of Swiss watches attract buyers from all over the world, and exports continue to increase from year to year. When it comes to watches, Swiss Made has become one of the world's most valuable labels. But buyers are often surprised to find out just how Swiss their purchases are. In order to call a watch Swiss, 50% of the movement has to be made here. But there's no minimum level of Swissness imposed on the watch as a whole. So there is a fixed amount of Swissness in the watches, but it can be very low, 20 to 25%, which is too little for consumers. Pasch says existing laws provide too little protection for the Swiss-made label and bring its credibility into question. The Federation wants to increase the Swissness of the entire watch to 60%, Parliament's debating whether to impose a 50 or a 60% minimum requirement. But André Bernheim, CEO of the Mondain watch company, argues that the present law works well and there's no need to intervene. Mondain is among 25 medium-sized and smaller manufacturers belonging to the Swiss-made interest group, resisting the planned changes. Sales have been increasing. The image of the Swiss-made is very good. So I think it has been proving for 40 years that what we have today works. Mondain's boss says what matters is not where the watch is produced, but whether it comes up to Swiss standards. Swissinfo visited the Mondain factory in Biberis, Canton Solothurn, where the emphasis is on quality control. All the imported parts are closely inspected by our people here. In the countries where they're produced, we have offices staffed by people specially trained by Mondain. They're told how to carry out quality control and also receive designs and samples with instructions. We are putting a lot of efforts behind the product. How we develop a product, how we produce a product, how we ask our suppliers to produce the components, how we control the components before they are being even shipped to us controlling the components again when they come to our factory. So there are a lot of steps in between to make sure that what we are getting to our customers are what they can expect from a Swiss made. Despite the high quality of watches like this, some customers complain when they find out their timepieces are largely produced in Asia. We receive complaints and people make comments on the internet saying Swiss watchmakers are cheating consumers by allowing this to happen. A 50 or 60 percent rule would create more demand for Swiss components. Jean-Daniel Pache says this would lead to more jobs. We're convinced that the 60 percent rule and a stronger Swiss-made label will boost industry in Switzerland, particularly in component manufacturing, so more jobs will be created. But this is not just about jobs. Mondain says the quality of their watches could suffer if they're forced to buy Swiss components. Well, we could reduce costs by uh, not using sapphire crystals, but using mineral crystals. Is that in the interest of the consumer that he can get from us a mineral crystal only, where he was able to get a sapphire crystal? No. The CEO says they might even be forced to move their operation abroad if they can no longer compete. If new Swissness standards are imposed, the Federation has asked for a five-year grace period before the new law comes into effect to give companies like Mondain time to adapt.